Hello everyone. If you want a proper budget or financial plan, then you can use a progress bar to show how much of the budget has been allocated or spent. It gives you a quick overview of your financial progress and helps you to stay within the budget limit. Overall, the use of progress bars in Excel enhances user experience and provides visual feedback on progress. So, this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a progress bar in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have the serial long, year, forecasted cells, and actual cells in column B, C, D, and E. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 for better understanding. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll be inserting bar chart to create a progress bar in Excel. To do that, at first, we'll be selecting the cells of column C to column E. After that, we'll move on to the insert tab and here in the chart section, we'll go for the insert column or bar chart section. Here we'll select 2D bar chart and create a manual chart here in this section. But if you want to edit in this section, then select the chart, right click on this section and here you'll find the format data series option. If you click on it, then in the right side, you'll have your format data series section. After that, you can easily go for the fill and line option here and here you can Go for the fill option and select the solid bar here to make it solid. You can easily change the color according to your wish also. And in the next section of border, you can also go for the solid line and you can create the line according to your wish. After that, you can easily move on to your next section and here you have got your perfect job. If you want to show some labels here also, then you need to stretch the whole data a little bit and after that at the right section you'll find the chart elements select the data labels to show the labels and the years perfectly so that's how we can easily insert bar chart to show a progress bar in excel in our second method we'll be using conditional formatting to create a progress bar and to do that we have an additional column which is marked as achievement percentage. So in column F, we've got that. And now we'll go for the F5 cell where we want to get the percentage. And to do that, at first, we'll select the E5 and divide it with the D5. And after pressing the enter button, we'll get our perfect result here. If we drag down the formula to get the result for every cell, then we've got the achievement percentage for every cell of the column F. After that, we need to go for the conditional formatting. So I'll select the cells of F5 to F11. In the Home tab, we'll go for the styles and here we have got the conditional formatting. If we click on the drop down list, then we have got the data box. In the data bar section, we'll go for the more rules and after opening the new formatting rule, dialog box will go for the format all cells based on their values here we'll go for the data bar in the format style and in the type section we are dealing with the number so select the number here and in the maximum section we'll also go for the number but in this section we'll go for the 100 percent that means one number and in the field section we'll select the solid fill and in the color section you can choose any of the color according to your wish after that you'll go for the border section and click ok to get the perfect result here in the column f so that's how we can use the conditional formatting to create a bar chart in excel we can also use vb code to create a progress bar in excel to do that at first we'll select the cells from F5 to F11 where we want to create our bar chart and after that we'll go for the developer tab and select the visual basic to open the visual basic editor or 
Alternatively, we can easily press Alt plus F11 to open the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now, we'll go for the Insert tab and select the module here. Now, we have just created the new module here in this section. As I have already written my code here in the notepad, so I'll select the whole code by using Ctrl plus A in the keyboard, copy it down by Ctrl plus C, and here in the Visual Basic Editor, I'll press it by Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. Now, we have got the perfect code here in this section. Let's explain it a little bit. At first, in the code, we have sub progress bar. This line defines the start of the subroutine named progress bar. In the next line, we have the range dot select, which basically shows the range of F5 to F11 in the active sheet. After that, we have gone for selection format add data bar, which actually shows that the line adds a data bar conditional formatting to the selected range where we have doing the VBA code. After that, we'll go for selection dot format section and show value true. In this section, the line sets the data bar to display cell value with the selected range. After that, we have gone for the selection dot primary with the set first priority with selection of conditional formatting. This portion basically means that it adds the first priority as conditional formatting rule. After that, here we have mean point dot mean modify and rule is equals to zero. This portion mainly checks that if there remains any kind of first or second properties in this section where it is blocked by the code or not. And after in the dot mean section, we have got the minimum point of data bar, which is one here. And in the next section, we have the maximum point, which basically shows and set the maximum value as long one, as we are trying to get the values from zero to 100 percentage. After that, we have the end with code, which basically end the with block of the first format condition. And after that, we have got with selection dot bar color. That means this portion actives the bar color section. And here we have the theme color. In this theme color line, it shows that the color of the line accent will be one. And in the next here, we need to go for the tint and shade of the data as zero as our stated value. And now we have got the end of the color code. And in the next section, we'll start again the selection formation of bar field type. That means which type of bar we want to select. And in this case, we have selected as the field bar solid as section. And after that, we have gone for the direction section, which is the context. And next, we have the format condition selection of negative format. And here we have got the data bar color. And as context, it will mean it will be filled by the values of the relative of the cells. After that, we have gone for the selection of format of bar border section, which is basically shows the chosen value as none of bar code. After that, we have gone for the axis position, which will select the automatic bar selection of the axis. And next, we have the format color of the axis color. Here we have set zero. That means it will be black as our color. After that, we have tint and shade, which basically shows that it has the axis to zero. And now we have end of this section of the barcode. And after that, we have gone for the selection of the negative format number. There we have got the color 255. This portion shows that the set of the color will be negative portion if it is show the red color. After that, we have gone for the 10 for shade is equals to zero. That means it will show the data bar to zero. And here we have end the code with the end width and end sub with the subroutine ending. So in summary, the code creates a progress bar in Excel using data bars as a condition formatting rule. The progress bar appears in the F5 to F11, which has the minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 1. The barcode is set to a specific theme color and there is no border in around it. And the direction of the color bind is determined based on the relative 
to other cells and the axis color is black where the negative portion will be colored as red. Now let's check a bit if the code works or not. So we'll go for the run section here in the tab and now click on the run and then you'll see that at the main worksheet of the selector cell it has been condition formatting as we have wished. So that's how we can easily use VB code to create a progress bar in Excel. So that's it for today. You can follow any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.